welcome to another episode of Surviving Minecraft. This is Civic Dude, and I've been a little busy, guys. Been a little busy. Um, unfortunately, not much in Minecraft. It's been mostly IRL stuff. Real life, you know what I mean. Um, I have been doing a lot of research on uh, architecture and uh, things that I want to do next in this in this world here, you know, um, I'm kind of waiting on uh, 1.5 to come out before venturing into the nether, um, and a lot of the, you know, the builds and the projects that I want to do really <laughs> need me to go to the nether, so I need like glowstone or blaze powder, or blaze rods, you know, stuff like that, um, so I'm kind of you know, researching what I can do in the meantime while I'm waiting for 1.5 to come out. And so that has led me to, you know, think about what I want to do with this island in general. Um, you know, my, my plans for this, this little dude are to uh, eventually uh, colonize it and settle this land a little bit. So... You know, the best way to do that is to have a village with villagers. And since I don't have any village already that I've found, um, you know, I haven't gone exploring. All I've done is this island and then the, uh, the very early first island off in the distance over there. And uh, neither, of those, neither of those had a village. So... Um, I am without villagers. So the best way to get villagers is to take and uh, basically rehabilitate um, zombie villagers into uh, villagers again. So that's something we're going to be doing soon. But we need somewhere for the villagers to actually live once we've, once we've uh, cured them of their zombiness. So taking that into consideration I'm going to be doing my farms so let's let's say my animal farms my cow farm pig farm chicken coop uh, wheat farm pumpkin farm uh, you know all of those kind of farms and I'm gonna basically make them into um, buildings around this island so that the villagers have you know, a, a job and a place to live and uh, all of those kinds of things. You know, the cave spider farm, it'll have a building too. Stuff like that. So, with that being said, today what I want to do is work on not necessarily the mechanics of my cow and pig farm because the mechanics of that setup that I'm going to do uh, rely on 1.5, <laughs> like most everything that I'm doing. Um, and so, um, what we're going to do, and you hear that? There's a spider somewhere around here. Um, so what we're going to do is work on the building uh, for my cow and pig farm. So we'll call it like the, the butcher shop. And here you can see is the basic outline of the building with the stables on the outsides here. Um, so I'm going to not necessarily do a uh, time lapse, but I'm going to stand up at this spot and kind of take some photos of the progress just to kind of get uh, you know some screenshots. So I'll check up with you guys once I've got a little bit more done. Okay guys, so you can see you know, some progress being made here and kind of the look that I'm going for. Um, this design is not entirely of my own creation. This is uh, a design that I got from uh, that guy Gundahar, uh, who I'll link to in the description below. 
but I took one of his designs and kind of modified it to fit my my circumstances because I don't have you know a ton of space right here and I don't want to destroy the land too much so yeah like even even with this design I might have to get rid of this tree and this tree and this tree um, which is a shame because I like to keep the trees but uh, you know um, so we got the stables on the outside here so I'm gonna have cows on one side and pigs on the other and then the main main building in here and it's gonna have three floors so it's gonna be fairly tall not quite as tall as my main house over there but but still pretty tall so um, let me just do a little bit here and I'll show you kind of the workflow that I have So it's mostly just, uh, you know, mocking it, mocking up a frame, and then kind of just filling in the lines um, after you've mocked up the frame. You can add details here and there, um, like for instance, we're gonna add a little, I don't know what you'd call it, balcony. Not really, cubby uh, right here, just to give the back wall, and I'm gonna do the same with the front wall, just to give these walls a little bit more depth. So, um, I'm really enjoying and uh, putting these kinds of things in my in my island here in my world. Um, it's really really gives me a sense of ownership, I guess. And uh, you may have noticed that I'm using the uh, the faithful texture pack this this go around. Um, like I said, I, I like I love this Vax Pure BD Craft uh, texture pack, um, but I don't want to just limit myself to that because I do like I do love the classic Minecraft Minecraft look. So let's add that one. Uh, let's sleep first, actually. I don't like having mobs interrupt me while I'm building. And we're back. So let me see. Let me just pull her up here. And I can finish framing out this second floor. You can see that I'm using a mixture of the oak wood and the spruce wood, um, just to give it a little bit more color. Um, I think it looks pretty nice. It's very nice. So, here we go. Okay, I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of these walls and get started on some of the roof work, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so we've got another update. Um, we've got the second floor put together. Um, you know, got the flooring in, the walls up. Uh, you can see how it's going to look. I've got kind of a thicker, thicker crown molding around the edges here. I want kind of a, you know, a beefy look because this is a butcher shop, so it needs to look kind of beefy. I think. Uh, no pun intended with the cows. <laughs> Um, right here I'm gonna have oh, right there. Right here I'm gonna put two chests on either either side of the staircase, and uh, using uh, the system that DocM and uh, the guys on the JL server uh, cooked up with the mine carts and the automatic uh, cooking or breeding. No, not breeding. I guess slaughtering system uh, for cows and pigs. Uh, I'm going to have like, you know, pig meat cooked pork chops go here automatically, and then uh, leather and cow meat go here automatically. 
Um, it's basically basically everything on the ground level here is going to be for show, and the real work is going to happen underneath and going to come up through the ground into these into these two chests that are going to be here. So all I all I have to do is run into this butcher shop, pick up whatever I need from the chest, and uh, refill them, refill the system as I needed as I need it. So maybe I'll have like some kind of secret doorway that opens up in the ground for you know access to the system itself to actually fill it up and um, something like that. So, anyways, getting on with the actual construction, um, you know we have this staircase here. Um, looks pretty cool. Spruce wood slabs for the flooring. Oak wood for the walls and the staircase. Um, it's fairly open up here. I'm gonna have like some bookshelves and some um, coffee tables and uh, chairs and stuff for customers to come and eat and read. Um, and then I'm gonna have another staircase, uh, I believe, right here, going up to the third floor. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on building that, and uh, I'll check back in uh, when I have more updates. Okay guys, so we're back now and uh, kind of just doing some finishing touches, you know, decorating the actual uh, you know, nuts and bolts of this this sucker. I've got the roof on, I've got the interior all set up as far as the walls and the floors go. Um, I still need to do some decorating on the interior as far as outfitting the the inside of the place, but uh, you know I can do that as I can do that a little bit later. Uh, while I do that, and then uh, let's do the fence gate like that. Yeah, that looks good. Um, and then let's do that same thing on the other side. I'm going to replace all of this grass with, uh, oh, not that, with like gravel and um, stone slabs. I think it'll look really cool. So let's see. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Place for our swine over here. And let's take a look at the inside. So you've already seen this first floor. Um, that's pretty good looking. Here is the second floor. Very nice, very nice. That's good. No, oh, gosh, not the gates. Fences there, and then here's the third floor. It's a little crammed, but it's nice and cozy. Basically, I'm gonna put, you know, a chest here and a chest right here, and then maybe a maybe a bed for the uh, the butcher to sleep on. But I'm not sure yet. So, and then all these holes like this, I'll just fill in with glass panes, which I don't have on me at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. So um, let me see. I can go ahead and make a couple chests to put down. And then uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Get that. Is that three of them? Let's just make four. for now. So like I said, once I get the uh, the system set up below in the basement here, the uh, the items will feed up into these chests automatically so I can just come in here and open up the chests and grab whatever I need. 
It'll be friggin' awesome. Okay, so now next we need to do... I think it's the floor, but I also want to put like a little... Maybe something like that. No, not that. Let's do slabs. Cobblestone slabs on the top. Or, ooh, maybe I could do stone brick slabs. Do I have any stone? Yes, I do. Hmm. Okay, so let's do regular cobblestone slabs on one. Okay. What do you think? Option A, option B. A or B. Hmm. I'm kind of leaning with B. Yeah, let's go with B. Okay. So I got that. Now we can start ripping up the floor for the grass and get the uh, some dirt and some gravel and some stone slabs in place. Okay. See you in a minute. Alrighty, guys. So got a little bit more accomplished. Got some uh, rudimentary know gravel and stone brick dirt mixture kind of going here I want it to look like it's uh, an animal pen you know worn in but it still has kind of a structure to it with the gravel plus I needed a separation between the grass over there and the dirt here because I don't want grass growing inside of here obviously because that wouldn't that would kind of kill the illusion so Moving inside, we've got uh, stone slabs and mixture of stone bricks on the floor. Over here is where we're going to have our butcher table. Oh. So we have some red wool to uh, simulate, I guess, blood. So something like that. And then over here we can have another... Over here we can have another little table, you know, for for whatever. Um, let's see. Upstairs we can do some cool stuff with. Okay, so right here I'm gonna have a couple bookshelves. Some more bookshelves here. Here we can do a uh, table like that. Another little table over here like that, just to kind of give it some ambiance. And then right here and uh, over there, same place, I'm going to put a couple chests, I think. Should look nice. And then like I said up here, I'm going to put a couple more chests, just for random storage or whatever I see fit. So okay, let me get... Uh, let me get the chests together, and then I'll fill in the glass on the windows, and then we can do something else. Okay, guys, so I think I've got the house for the butcher shop pretty much done, except for the actual mechanics, like I said, of the automatic food processor, which, uh, you know, won't happen until... 1.5 comes out, but uh, so what I'm doing right now is just kind of cleaning up the area a little bit, um, taking out these trees that are a little bit too close. Yeah, see, like this is just just a little bit too close. So 
let's walk around here and kind of see how it looks. It's pretty big. I mean, it's not as big as my main house, but it's not supposed to be. So, nice good size. Um, I like the contrast of the oak and the spruce wood and the spruce logs. Um, turned out really nicely. Still need to get uh, more bookshelves for the inside up there, but uh, that'll come with more cows. So, and then once we get the carrots, I'm still trying to find carrots, guys. But once I find carrots, I can get, lead the pigs into this side. Carrots are incredibly hard to come by if you don't have a village nearby. So, one last walk through. Um, like I said, I'm going to put bookshelves, kind of finishing touches here and here. And then the third floor up here is just kind of storage attic area. And then um, for the outside gate or doors, I didn't actually put doors, I just wanted to use gates. It seemed kind of. It seemed like it fit. So, and then a couple of finishing touches, like mm. just wood piles or stuff like that, that I'll add. Um, maybe a watering hole or something like that mm. for the for the animals. But, uh, ooh, that doesn't look good. <sighs> Sorry guys, I see one little thing right here and I don't like it. There. My OCD kicked in for like two seconds there. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, this hasn't been a super long episode, but it's been so long since I've gotten one out, I wanted to put, at least get something out for you guys to see, so, um, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys, this has uh, been a productive one, you know, we got uh, we got this butcher shop made, uh, it looks pretty nice, I'm pretty happy with it, like I said, once the, once the update comes, for, up for Minecraft, we'll finish it off with the actual um, mechanics mechanics of the uh, food processor. And, uh, you know, next time you know, we can find some villager zombies that we can save. Start saving those because we need to, we're going to need some people to populate our, our island here. So, yeah, next time we can maybe work on uh, couple more buildings or one or two maybe like the spider spawner could get a building um, the wheat farm potato farm thing could get a building um, I'm kind of holding off on that one though because I want to wait and see what uh, farms designs are available uh, to do for automatic wheat and automatic potato farming because um, I imagine that will play a a role in how, what kind of design I use um, for the actual uh, building. So, anyways, guys, uh, this has been a great episode. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time around. <laughs>